Hello uh, Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Um, so feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. So if you look in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So we're going to take a look and see who's showing up. Uh, just in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Like I said, guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in off camera and clarify them um, and I'll be back. So Aquarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates uh, with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, okay, so you're showing up as a 10, uh, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you're showing up as a 10, Aquarius, which talks about, it's, it seems like you're just kind of basking or just enjoying what you've kind of built with this person whatever that is um whatever that is that could be you know you've moved in you know, you've got married you've got kids you've just established a relationship whatever it is you're just kind of enjoying what that perception is it's like okay this is what I've established this is what I've built and I'm enjoying that where it's very different from what's going on within internally for you because there's burden here with that 10, that 10 of wands, burden and judgment. Um, and it's coming from a place of, I mean, you know, your person is showing up as the nine of coins. So, you know, for them, it's a case of, I'm just kind of doing, it's like, it's got, it's got this going, just going with the motion type of thing. I'm doing what needs to be done in order for it to be done. It's that, it's that, it's that energy. Um, because they're focusing on wanting, and I doubt this is going to be any surprise to you, uh, wanting that ace of wands there. There's something that they're wanting to create, something new. It's like they want an opportunity to create something new, something new, something new is on their mind. There's something around something new that you're not to, there's judgment around this for you. Whatever that new is, whatever it is that they've approached you about wanting, that's causing them to feel uh, trapped with that A, causing them to feel trapped and you to feel burdened with judgment there. Um, because, you know, for you, in the, it seems like there's commitment there. So whatever this hyphen, when we're talking about the hyphen, we're talking about higher commitment, you know, marriage, even higher wisdom. But in this spread, this is more about higher commitment with that hyphen card there. So, for, for example, it seems like you've signed up to something. And this is just an example, guys. OK, um, so it seems like you, for instance. All right. So this is an example you know, you've gotten married to this person and the vows were X, Y, Z. And it's like, okay, so I have agreed upon what that is. You've agreed upon what that is. And now this person, it seems like they're wanting to change that in some way or uh, add something to it in some way. This is, there's something that they're wanting to um, add to it, going back to that ace of uh, wands there which you're not too pleased about it's like no this is what it is this is what we've signed up for this is what we agreed upon and we're not really gonna we're not really not gonna change that so let's put an, an end to that um and and just kind of move move ahead you know this is something that i decided that i want based on the conditions and i'm looking to go long term uh, long term with this yes you was up in your head a little bit about the situation or about maybe aspects of what they approached you with, but it's like, no, I'm, I'm not going to acknowledge that. Let's let that, let that be. Um, and let's just kind of move forward with what was agreed upon. And for them, it was a case of them trying to be strong about this, trying to remain strong, but still kind of really going, you know, inside asking themselves those important questions, like going deep, we've got the hermit card there. Um, as much as 
whatever their response to you looked like, I'm going to say looked like because I don't feel like for a lot of them, for example, if, you know, the agreement was we're going to not talk about this again, I don't feel like they agreed verbally to that. I mean, you might have seemed like it or it might have looked like it, but that's not the case because we do have that that king of wands there, which talks about, you know, still very ambitious, driven, drive, you know, focused. Um, and then that, that seven, uh, very sneaky, uh, not being honest, um, not, but I don't feel like it's them deliberately not being honest. I feel like maybe for a lot of you, it's more about your perception of them not, them maybe agreeing to not talk about this again or agreeing to just put a stop to it, whatever it is. Still a lot of chemistry there that they still have towards you. It's not to say that this person doesn't appreciate what you've established because there is definitely acknowledgement there. It's like, you know, how have established something with this person? There's still very much chemistry between us. Could be both very different, but still attraction and chemistry there. So there's something that they acknowledge that they have with you, that they've built with you, um, but still wanting to add, there's that magician card there, which talks about manifestation, having all the tools in the toolbox to make something happen. So it's like them, they're still wanting to, whatever it is that they've approached you with, whatever that is. And yes, we do have that 10 of swords there, which talks about the ending of something. That's more about just the ending of how things are. I feel like maybe for some of you, it could just be them wanting to add something to the relationship. Maybe it could be simply maybe a change in location. It could be for some of you just simply that. Maybe you guys, them saying, okay, let's move to a different country or a different location or whatever the case may be, or even buy a house. Yeah. So as much as this ties back to where you guys currently are at the moment, this going through the motions of, of this for them, because they haven't let it go. It's still very much on their mind uh, the, to the point where, you know, sleepless nights, stressing them out even constantly on their mind. There is, I don't know why there is this importance around this for them to the point where it will stress them out or it's becoming stressful. I feel like this might tie into more so because we do have the free of source there and then the confusion. Um, I feel like this ties maybe more into them not feeling like, maybe you're not taking into consideration how they feel and think about that about things or what's important to them. Um, because I don't feel like what they've brought to the table warrants this. Could be, you know, but I'm just, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah. So as much as they're going through the motions, it's still very much on their mind, still very much within them to want this thing which is very much expressed by the six of wands there. They're wanting victory. They're wanting to win. At the, they're, they're wanting what they're wanting. They're wanting to move this in a new direction or do something different. They're wanting to take a risk on this in some way. And when I say take a risk on this, meaning they're not wanting to let this go as much as it might look like they've let it go. And for some of you, it could have been even agreed upon in letting that go. They're definitely not. They're definitely not. Um, so we're going to move into the full version of the reading, see where this moves to. Link is in the description bar below, guys. And I shall see you guys in a bit.